These are the latest MacBook Pros, M3, M3 Pro, and M3 Max. At this point, we've already seen how powerful the M3 Max is. And if you haven't, check out some of my other videos. But not now, not now, wait a second, because I got some surprising results for you today. When it comes to small incremental builds and code executions, the real workhorses of development, the new MacBooks have thrown us a little curveball. And surprisingly, the most powerful model isn't always the front runner. And let's go. <laughs> To simulate incremental builds and code executions, I've set up a series of tests using 10-ish popular programming languages. These tests aren't about pushing the machines to their limits with massive, huge builds. Instead, they focus on quick, frequent tasks that you typically run while writing and refining code, compiling small modules, running unit tests, and making those tiny yet frequent tweaks. We've got Python, we've got Java, C, C++, C Sharp, Rust, Go, Kotlin, TypeScript, PHP, and Zig. This solution is going to build the languages that are compiled. And after this, we're going to run all the languages, whether they're interpreted languages or compiled languages on all three of these machines. And we're going to see how long each step takes. First, I'm doing the build on all three of these. At this stage, there is some network contention. So I'm doing it one by one. But during the run stage, we're going to do them all at the same time, which is going to be a race. And speaking of races, this test is actually just one part of Dave Plummer's Primes project. Dave Plummer has a YouTube channel called Dave's Garage. And this was initially created to do a drag race between languages to compare languages, see which languages are faster. We're going to see some of that too, but I'm using it to compare the machines. I'll also link to Dave's repository down below in the description so you can check it out yourself. So what are all these languages doing? Well, they're trying to solve for prime numbers and the results show how many times the language can calculate from one to, excuse me, to a million in prime numbers. I think Zig is actually the fastest. Can you also tell which ones are going to be the slowest? Is it going to be JavaScript, PHP, or Python? Leave a comment down below with your guests. We'll find out soon. Of course, those three that I just rattled off are interpreted languages where the other ones are all compiled languages. So compiled are going to be much faster, of course. I'm timing this execution. I'll be back in a minute with the results. I mean, it's going to be a, a few minutes for me, but it's going to be like a second for you right now. All right, Zig just finished up and that whole build of those 10 languages took 11 minutes and 20 seconds. Don't worry, I have the same number, the same setup on all these machines. I'm not going to skimp on you. 11 minutes, 20 seconds. Remember, Remember that that's on the M1 Pro MacBook Pro. Let's move on to these other machines. Okay, well, that uh, was a little bit strange. So I got 1120. You remember we got 1120 here on the M1 Pro. We've got 1113 on the M1 Max. Understandable, right? It's faster. We've got <laughs> 1037 on the M3 base model. What? What? It's faster. Like I said, there's probably some discrepancies with the network. I'm going to do some runs right now. Everything is built. We no longer need to access the network. We're just going to run these algorithms locally and see what goes. And for that, we're going to bring out our friend Schwarzenegger 2.0, who's going to help us execute it. Just like that. <laughs> now I am timing these runs. All right, let's do this. Boom. Ooh, interesting. Somebody's ahead right now. And it's not the M3 Max. The Pro is ahead. Pro is doing C. It looks like the M3 Pro is way ahead, but they're all at different stages of the run here. I'll be right back. And we've got results. Finally, this is actually a little bit surprising. Ready for this? In third place, we've got the M3 Pro with five minutes and 32 seconds. In second place, we have the M3 Max, five minutes, 27 seconds. And yes, of course, that means that the winner doing this in the shortest time is the base model M3, which is completely unexpected. It finished it in five minutes. A very interesting turn of events, especially because some of these tests were actually multi-threaded. Single-threaded, I would understand if it was like a, an actual race because all these machines have pretty much the same cores. And if you're executing code on one core that's single threaded, then they all have an equal chance of winning. But because there were multi-threaded tests here, Rust was a multi-threaded test. There was a C++ multi-threaded test. Because of that, the machines with more cores should have won. And the machines with more cores, well, this one has 16 cores, the M3 Max. So it should have won, but it did not. Came in second. So something 
else is at play here. If you know what's going on, leave a comment down below. Like I said, pretty unexpected. Now, just to give you a little bit of an idea of the actual results, here is Python on the M3. We had 624 passes in five seconds, which is actually more passes than both of the other machines. The M3 Pro 597 passes and the M3 Max 560 passes. That just means that that's how many times it was able to calculate prime numbers from two to a million. So if you think that's impressive, take a look at Java. <laughs> a lot more. And again, the M3 is showing that it's doing more work in the same amount of time, which is five seconds. So the M3 was able to pull this off 13,758 passes and the M3 Pro 10,317 passes in the same amount of time, which is less passes. Also less passes, the M3 Max 10,113. What is going on here? Those are single threaded operations, by the way. Let's have a quick look at a multi-threaded test. Here is C++. <laughs> <laughs> now we're dealing with a slightly different category of numbers here. How many digits is that? <laughs> As you can see, we have a wide range of results here for each one of these tests, but overall really impressed with that base model M3 machine. It was able to keep up in this test of real programming languages that you and I use. I don't use all these programming languages, but some of you do, I'm sure. All right, let's dive into what the data tells us about the M3, M3 Pro and M3 Max MacBooks, focusing on both their single core and multi-core performances. First up, when we're talking about single core tasks, it's like a neck and neck race between the M3 and M3 Pro. They're pretty much on par, which is interesting, but here's a twist. The M3 Max, which is what you'd think would be the front runner, the most powerful machine, actually trails a bit in single core tasks. It's a bit surprising, right? If you have any theories as to why this is happening, leave them in the comments down below. Now, switching gears to multi-core performance, the plot thickens. <laughs> the M3, not the M3 Max, takes the lead here. It's handling multi-threaded tasks better in my tests, which which kind of flips the script on what you might expect. The M3 Max, despite having high-end specs and doing really, really well on big builds, doesn't shine as much on these multi-core scenarios where you have tiny incremental builds. And just to remind you, these are tiny little runs, five seconds each, right? So I have a theory on this one, and my theory is that the extra threads, uh, the M3 Max has to spin up 16 threads. And to do that, there is the associated cost of spinning up extra threads, which slows it down for that tiny little run. Let me know in the comments if you agree or if you have another theory. And what about the M3 Pro? Well, it's kind of in the middle. It has less performance cores than the M1 Pro and the M2 Pro. And here in the M3 family, it's been pushed down a little bit. So it's not as much of a pro machine as it used to be, but it's not lagging too far behind either. If you're deciding between these MacBooks, it's not just about going for the one with the max label because of best performance. It really boils down to what you're using it for. Single core stuff, multi-core stuff, or a mix between the two. Each model has its moments where it shines and others where it's just okay. Now, if you are curious about larger builds and huge builds that I was talking about, watch this video next and I will see you in the next one.